Hello everyone, long time no see, I hope you guys are fine. So here we are with a new problem and this is a very interesting problem of fluid flow and we're going to simulate it in SOLIDWORKS first and then uh, using Ansys Fluent. So the idea here is to find out the difference between SOLIDWORKS and Ansys and uh, between structured and unstructured mesh results. So let's begin with the SOLIDWORKS model and uh, we, we just start with it. So here you have the add-ons and uh, and then you just start with the visit. And it's pretty easy and straightforward here. So we want external flow and then uh, none of these. And the gas is air. So let's say it's like 10 meter per second coming in the X direction and that would conclude it. Now this is a huge domain but uh, let's get going with it and let, um, there will be a lot of mesh or maybe not show sure, basic mesh uh, yeah that, that's pretty coarse here and uh, like it's so coarse that uh, so many of the results will be gone. But uh, as a scientist, we begin without any prejudice, and uh, we we just experiment, and then we see like which things are uh, correct and which things are wrong. So let's begin with it and hit run. Yes, and it's gonna solve very quickly yeah that's pressure at center but I also want to see velocity at center hmm that looks nicely converging but big problem that you see that this thing like the mesh is quite coarse already oh wow it's going back maybe it's diverging so I wouldn't be expecting very accurate results but nonetheless um, this is a great example this is gonna be a great example for those people who think that uh, making a few clicks will just solve your problem and you don't have to f fuss too much about uh, too many settings so let's have the results and uh, let's check the velocity so we're gonna ignore pressure for now and uh, later we can check it hmm I'm gonna hide everything and uh, yeah yeah it looks pretty bad over here so let's let's refine the mesh a bit oh, wow that's one meter and uh, let's let's change these settings so each plane let's put like it's around 100 mil and it's going to take a lot of time to calculate the but what should we do to make it less intense so we can refine it in in x y plane and then let it go let it be coarse in uh, y z and y z and x z plane but I'm afraid that will make it too bad like the results would be too bad but it's still very coarse so let's see what happens with these results uh, when we refine the mesh so let's save these ones and, uh, and then try again Yep. 
Dat is wel een mes. And the only thing that is bad with the SolidWorks model is that it doesn't have it doesn't support the 2D simulation. So you're gonna have to be over that if you need high fidelity results. So yeah, you're just gonna let it run and then wait. It's just three iterations so far. And so the simulation finished in like 25 minutes. And let's see what do we have as results. Contours, yes. Okay. But does it look any better than the previous one? Um, yeah, a bit does. And uh, yeah, also this region and uh, that the block one, uh, this blue one. And uh, these contours a bit improved. And uh, this region as well. So now the highest velocity is not showing up here, and uh, but instead here. But remember that it took me like 25 minutes to finish it. I mean like roughly 25 times uh, much computations were needed to complete this uh, simulation. And uh, the mesh still doesn't look really great. So I'm going to try that in SOLIDWORKS, uh, not SOLIDWORKS, in ANSYS, I beg your pardon. So if I were to make it like, now this is 100 mil, right? So if we want to make it like 0.02 by 20 millimeter, um, that, that would look a bit good. But last time I tried it, it took me like four hours to, to, to get to some results, but they were not really good great as well so I'm not gonna do it uh, for now and uh, you're encouraged to try it but let's see what do we get if we have the same amount of mesh in ANSYS so let's try the same thing in ANSYS but um, in ANSYS I'm gonna use it's a 2D axisymmetric model or let's say we try some some goofy methods in uh, in ANSYS as well. So I'm not going to use 3D in ANSYS because uh, it doesn't make much sense to to use a shitload of mesh. Excuse my language and uh, and still you know like just just wait for uh, for some results and then they're wrong. This is not how we should work. So let's see you in ANSYS video.